this is Sasha bringing you a video tutorial today from BP for you. And so today we're going to be talking about the recompose tool. And so the recompose tool is super fun and it's something that I think is just a lot of fun to play with. So I'm going to build you just a scenario for a second. So we're going to pretend like, um, you know, I've got these three kids here. And I want to cut the one in the middle out. So we'll just pretend that these two on the ends are my kids. And this is a friend that is no longer a friend. Maybe she was mean. I don't know. Anyways, for some reason or another, we want to cut her out of the photo. And so we could spend all day using the clone stamp tool. Or we could spend all day using, um, I mean, there's a couple different ways that we can do it. But I'm going to show you what I believe to be the easiest way. And it's a lot of fun, so we definitely want to look into that. So I'm going to come up here to Image and Recompose. And so now I've got these brushes down here. And so this is um, my protection brush, and this is my removal brush. So let's start off with the protection brush. So I definitely want um, one of my kids here, if we're pretending that. I want my kids to be protected. And so I'm going to draw an outline around them so that I know that they will be safe when I go ahead and I recompose my photo. I want to make um, special um, care around this hand and all around the spots next to this girl here. And so I'm going to start painting and I'm going to make sure I get all of her arm in there. And I don't want to get too much of the other girl in there. And so that's what I need to be really careful of. Other than that, I don't have to be too particular here. I did notice that I got a little bit of the girl's hand in there. So I'm just going to make sure that I clean that up. Now I'm using my... Um, I'm using this removal brush right here, so I'm going to come in here and I'm going to make sure that I get her in this selection because she is what I am trying to remove. So I'm going to grab her around the hairline here. And I'm going to try to get in as tight as I can without overlapping this selection here. Okay, so that looks pretty good to me. So now is the fun part. Now we get to recompose the photo. Now, what did we spend doing this? 30 seconds? Didn't take us very long. I'm literally smushing it together. That's it. That's all I have to do. I can smush together as much or as little as I want to. And so I'm going to get it kind of tight in here. Let's make the picture a nice square. Let's make it kind of square like. That looks pretty square like right there. Okay, so I have a little bit of cleaning up to do. Not a lot here. It's definitely a lot less than what I would have had before. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to work on this. And I'm going to show you how you can keep going with this edit um, to make it something that is just really cool and really fun to have. Okay, so the first thing I want to do now is I'm going to crop my photo because I have a lot of extra over here. So I'm just going to grab my crop tool here. This is no big deal. Um, I've got this 8 by 10 restriction here so I'm just going to come down here and click on no restrictions so that I can grab the rest of that and I'm going to give that a big check mark. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab my clone stamp tool and I'm going to duplicate this layer here. That way I'm not working right on this um, bottom layer. I want to be able to erase things that I mess up on. So I'm going to come down and I'm going to grab some grass and I'm going to start getting rid of this watermelon here. To grab a source point I'm just alt clicking, option clicking on a Mac. And this isn't going to take us very long to do at all. I might grab some of this grass over here because this grass is a little bit more in focus. I want to be careful not to grab the highlighted grass because there are no highlights there. I'm going to grab just a piece of his leg and bring it down to make sure that 
all of that leg there looks good. Okay, so now I'm going to grab some of this highlighted grass and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to very carefully start working in this spot here to get rid of some of that the, where she had her jeans. And then I'm going to grab some of this out of focus grass, grass back here to get rid of the rest of that. So now I can grab this space up here to kind of work on some of the woods area and I'm going to make my brush smaller to grab in around I'm going to pull from over here I want to pull things that are close to what I'm working on now I can raise up the size of my brush just a little a little more Here, I really think that looks pretty good. We can just touch up some of this space up here. Maybe grab and touch just a little bit of that up right there. And erase some of that from her hand. Go back to my clone stamp tool and I'm just going to touch up that space right in there. So let's have a look here at what we've got going on. Okay, so here was our before and our after. And there's one spot up here. I can see just a little spot of a line. I want to get rid of that. There we go. I think that looks pretty good. So that was really simple and it didn't take us very long. And then I can go ahead and I can smush those two layers together. So here we've got our before and our after. And so I would be very happy with this edit if I actually for some reason or another didn't want that girl in the middle of my photo, I would be very happy and very excited about being able to do this, being able to do it so quickly. Um, if I wasn't guiding the tutorial along the way, I would say that I could probably have this done in about a minute. And so very simple, a lot less tedious than having to clone everything. Um, having to draw all those source points to get every single little detail um, gone makes a huge difference. Being able to just kind of smush the picture together and go with it um, definitely is helpful. Plus, I got um, what we were pretending to be the brother and the sister a little bit closer together and that's how I would have wanted it if I was pulling something out of the middle. So thank you for watching this video tutorial. Happy editing!